Hi everybody, um, this is Bandit Stephanie, or Stephanie, and um, today is Friday, March 2nd, 2012. Um, <clears throat> not really sure how many weeks out this is, um, but I do know my one year surge anniversary is only a couple weeks away. Um, <clears throat> for anybody who is new to my channel or just wants a refresher, um, <clears throat> I had lap band surgery on March 15th, 2011, and my starting weight was 313.6 pounds. I hit my goal weight of 145 pounds on Valentine's Day of this year. Um, <clears throat> I had previously set my maintenance range for, originally it was 145 to 149, then it went down to 142 to 147. And um, I'm here to report that I've set yet a new maintenance range for myself um, of 135 to 139 pounds. And here's why. <clears throat> so before lap band surgery, I could never even picture myself under 200 pounds. Um, my surgeon's original goal, goal for me was 145 pounds because that was the top of the BMI range of being normal for my height, which is 5'4". Um, at the time, I thought there's no way in hell I'm ever getting to 145 pounds. Well, <clears throat> I got there, um, and within my maintenance range the last couple weeks, I've been up and down and up and down, and um, to be honest, it's been a struggle for me. Um, it's it's a new thing for me, and, and I'm having a little bit of a hard time with it. Um, so I just got to thinking... And, um, you know, it's kind of like I've been teeter-tottering over this normal back to overweight of, you know, my BMI. And I thought to myself, you know, damn it, I've come this far. Why not get to myself to a, a level of being normal, you know? So why can't I set my new range of 135 to 139? Um... You know, that'll put me within a nice limit of being within a normal BMI range. And um, I got to be honest, I've been getting a lot of shit for this from people. And um, so I apologize now if this video uh, comes across not the most positive. But um don't know that I've ever done a negative video. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the good, the bad, the ugly. So, um... Like I said, set a new maintenance range, um, partly because I want to be more normal, partly because when I look at myself, I still see areas that I don't think are necessarily just loose skin, that I think um, there's still fat there. Um, and another reason is just to give me a new goal to work towards because I've become so lackadaisical in this maintenance range. Um, I've let myself get up. Um, you know, I've I've skimped on the exercise, been eating like shit, and for me, I think um, to have something to work towards is what I need. So um, I set a new goal. I don't care who doesn't like it. Um, you know, I've been hearing things like, don't lose any more weight, and you know, I thought your goal in this was to be healthy, not to be a stick figure, and um, to be honest, it really pees me off. Like, I mean... I can't do anything right, you know, I'm overweight and I can't, you know, I, I hear shit about you shouldn't be eating that, you eat too much, you know, now I'm I'm at a healthy weight and um, I want to go down a little bit more and, you know, I'm hearing, well, I think you need to get healthy, you need to, you need to stay healthy and this and that, it's a crack of shit, um, you know, I, I know my body and I know that I'm not going to get to a place of unhealthy. I mean, I today I weighed in at 142.6 pounds. So, um, you know, I have about 7.6 pounds to the bottom of my maintenance range, my new maintenance range, and, you know, I don't see a problem with that. Um, I, I understand people's concerns, but um, I pretty much think I know what's best for me. I know my body. I kind of know, I think, what it can and can't do. So, um, to hell with the rest of them. Um, set myself a new goal. I'm happy about it. I hope you guys are happy about it. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, 
It's exciting. I think I can get there, and, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think my body will be able to see the 130s um, and kind of uh, <clears throat> something else is I, I had a plastic surgery consultation yesterday. Um, it was interesting that it was exactly one year to the day that I started my pre-op liquid diet. So um, it was cool to reflect back and see how far I've grown in the last year. It was amazing. But um, so I had a consultation with a plastic surgeon, a plastic surgeon that my weight loss surgeon recommends. Um, I think it went great. Um, he was, you know, willing and, and pretty much answered all my questions and and we seem to be on the same page of what could be done, what couldn't be done, and um, expectations and timelines. So, um, you know, it's it's a pretty pricey investment. But um, at this point in the game, I've lost 171 pounds in less than a year. And um, I'm 26 years old. I'm a single girl. <clears throat> I don't want to wake up every day with a reminder of where I came from. Um, I understand I may never have a perfect body. And that's okay. But, um, you know, I, I feel like there's a lot of extra skin there. And and I feel like after plastic surgery, I could be down, you know, maybe even in the 120s. Um, the, the plastic surgeon even said yesterday when we were looking at everything that, um, you know, he said, you're really tiny underneath all that skin. And I said, yeah, who would have thought? You know, I used to say, oh, I'm big boned, I'm big boned. Well... I'm really not. I have a tiny frame, and um, under all this skin is a tiny frame, and, and I intend to get myself um, looking the best that I can. Um, it's It's been a struggle for me to um, get people to support this in my life, and uh, God, I hate to come to you guys with a, you know, a sad video. Um, like I said, I don't think I've ever done one of these, but... Um, just being real, um, you know, having the support of my family is really important to me, and it's it's something that I don't have right now, and, you know, more than ever, I just feel, <clears throat> I feel alone, and I feel like I'm still trying to come into my own, and, uh, it's really hard, um, and I know, you know, I'll get through it and uh I'll get there. But um yeah, it's it's been a tough week for me. It's it's been a tough day. Tough emotional day and you know, it's it really takes a toll on me. Um but <clears throat> just wanted to come to you guys since I haven't been here since I did my goal video. Um just kind of let you guys know, set a new goal, and um, had a plastic surgery consultation. Um, and I also uh, am going to see a psychologist on Monday. I think uh, I think at this stage in the game, it'll be a good thing for me. A lot of things have happened in the last year, a lot of changes. Um, and I like to play a big game that I'm strong and I'm tough and I can handle it. But the truth of the matter is... Um, you know, we could all use a little bit of help every now and then. So um, I'm, I'm definitely uh, optimistic that that'll be a good, a good thing for me. So uh, no more, no more sad video. Um, just wanted to come and check in with you guys, and um, I will probably see you guys next on my surgery video, which is March fifteenth. So it's coming up one year. Um, I'll try to do lots of before and after pictures. Not so good at the whole video thing, but um, I'll do my best. So I will talk to you guys soon, and uh, thanks for listening, guys. Um, take care. Bye.